It was comeback of the year at fight camp, but can Alexander Povetkin repeat his heroics or will Dillian White have learnt some lessons from their first encounter? Let's take a look at where White Povetkin too may be won and lost. So looking ahead to this fight, Darren, it's probably easiest to look back at what went wrong yeah. and right for both fighters. First of all, we have to start with the positives of White. His jab was was excellent and broke up Povetkin's rhythm and, and he was leading with it really, really nicely. It's a beautiful shot. You know, it's the most important shot in boxing. You hear it all the time. Uh, but what he was doing so well, there was good variation. It was jab to the head, jab to the body, getting Povetkin to react all the time. Crisp, sharp jab was so impressive early on in that fight. So White started the fight well, but one mistake that both you and I picked up on was what we're looking at in just a moment's time. When he takes his feet back with him, as, as Povetkin commits, we know the Russian likes to drop into range, sell you a level change and aggressively commit with overhand rights and lefts. White brings his feet together because he doesn't take that right foot back with him enough. He does it the first time, he takes a perfect step back the first time. The second time he does it, he leaves his back foot there. These are your everything. These help you attack, but they also help you get out of trouble. Mm. And what he was doing, he was taking two steps back. But then on the last one, he wasn't bringing his foot back enough, therefore being in a terrible position. So the rear leg was basically getting stuck on the second phase. Of you the... need a solid base here. You need to be in a good position to attack and to defend yourself. And what happened here, he falls in a position, but also he brings his head down. You know, it was a crazy sort of position to be in for someone that's, you know, so well ranked in a, in a division. And it kind of led, if you fast forward to the way it ended, this position where he's looking, facing down to the ground. And the eyes as well. Absolute suicide. So look, if, you're, if you're rolling, you want to be keeping either your eyes here, here or here. Yeah. You know, the last thing you want to be doing when you're rolling is putting your head down because you will get countered with the uppercut, which he did. So round four was when things really heated up. Two knockdowns for Dillian White. Uh, the first was a, a counter left hook when Povetkin was letting his hands go. Caught with the same shot against David Price. Easily Dillian White's best punch and the Russian never saw it coming. No, it's, it was a lovely short left hook to the head. You're always vulnerable when you're letting your hands go as Povetkin was. Lovely short left hook delivered. Beautiful shot. Do you want to come show me? Yeah, so as Povetkin's show, uh, throwing his shots, he throws about four shots. Bam, bam, bang. And that short left hook comes in. It's a beautiful shot from Dillian White. Uh, and I guess um, the, the point is that Povetkin letting his hands go, his hands are naturally going to be out of yeah. position. And it's the shots that you don't see when you're out of position that, that can hurt you. Absolutely. And when you're in range, you're letting your shots go. You're very vulnerable. And that's what happened there. It was a lovely short left hook, enough to drop him. So the Russian recovered. And then just towards the end of the fourth round, he gets dropped again, this time by a short uppercut when Dillian White's on the ropes. It's kind of a catch to the body counter with the left hook catch and counter with the same hand uh, and well I, I think Povetkin was lucky that there was only 20 seconds left on the clock yeah you know he gets greedy like you say he throws about three four shots and then kind of yeah if you come here just throw three or four shots got, gets greedy with it and he's wide open for the uppercut he yeah. naturally does that quite a bit Povetkin if you see him he's got short arms and he opens his guard up like this mm -hmm. and he's, he is a sucker to an uppercut and we see it there yeah, and of course there was only a few seconds left in that round and that's why he survived and somehow made it to the dramatics of round number five. Unbelievable stuff. So let's talk about the finish then in round number five. Povetkin's down twice. A lot of people thought the writing was on the wall for the Russian and then unbelievably this passage of play happens. So he sells in the feint, steps into range. White does the same mistake that you mentioned in round number one, which is what? Well, he just puts his head down. He puts his head down into position. But what led into this knockout was... The way that Povetkin was, was so well what he does, he jabs, gives the eyes, he faints to the body and then he fires back with the right hand. Yep. So throughout the fight, up until that fifth round, Povetkin was throwing that right hand and just before the knockout, he catches him on the side of, of the glove of the head and makes Dillian White think look, another right hand's going. You've got to remember, Alexander Povetkin is a serious fighter, a former Olympic gold medal medalist. He knows how to fight. He's, you know, he's got great uh, fundamentals. He's got great uh, pedigree. So he's done that. He's got the reaction. So this time, he's completely changed his position. He stepped, jabbed, stepped, and he's just thrown the left uppercut. Gillian White's facing the floor in a terrible position again. He's expecting the right hand. He's trying to dip under. He gets caught with that uppercut. Curtains, an absolute wonderful shot. Yeah, the lights were out before the, uh, the building collapsed, as they say. <laughs> yeah, unbelievable. You know, when you see a fighter that's just been dropped twice the round before, you, you're convinced the next round is over. But that's why we love boxing. Absolutely.